How are we doing guys? Going to do a quick review of a new motor that I am testing out for a company, Brother Hobby. These motors are, actually their motors mounted on the new Armatin frame, the Armadillo, but specifically today we're looking at these motors. They are the Tornado T12205, 2300 kV motors. They are also coming out, I believe, in, in a uh, 2600 kV version as well. But uh, again, these are the 2300s. They're going to be good for your 5 inch props. Um, your six inch props as well. They're rated for three two five S, so kind of future proof for people wanting to move to five S uh, for some crazy thrust numbers. <clears throat> They'll handle that, they're rated for it. So again, the company's brother hobby, they're an OEM making motors out of Shenzhen, uh, China. So they're gonna have a few distributors in the US. Um, but again, these, these are from them. So we're looking at the motors and how they come in the box when you get them. So. They come with a few accessories. What's really nice is they come with these little uh, aluminum nylocks. You don't have to go buying those. Real nice lightweight solution and uh, they, won't, they won't be falling off. They also come with some bolts to attach them to your arms. Uh, for reference, these are six millimeter, six millimeter um, bolts. And they actually use an M2.5, so you can really crank down on them, unlike the M, uh, M2s. They are steel, black steel, so a little heavy, but they work great. And you can, like I said, really crank down on them, and you could do that without worrying, because these motors use a uh, real high-grade aluminum. It's the 7075 aluminum. <clears throat> so as far as about the, you know, a few of the specs on these, if you all haven't seen they come in really light. That's what initially uh, interested me about it. About 28 grams uh, by the time you you know trim the wires to you know typical length that you would see on a mini quad. But 28 grams. They uh, use NSK Japanese NSK bearing, so super smooth. Um, they use the N52H magnets, so that's nice. They kind of more resistant to heat. They're the arc magnets, super strong. Um, I'm borrowing a little bit of data from uh, Mini Quad uh, Test Bench. If you're not familiar with them, check their website out. They do some absolutely great reviews. But uh, as far as thrust, you're looking at uh, 1187, 1187 grams of thrust on a uh, something like an HQ 5x4x3. Uh, so that's a really competitive, uh, competitive thrust. And it does it at 3 grams per weight, so it's fairly efficient as well. That's another nice thing. Uh, initially, what really kind of got me interested is these really unique look to the to the bell housings, these fins. Um, one kind of cool side benefit is when these things are spinning up, like I'll show you later, they make kind of a really neat sound. Um, the biggest advantage of this motor is how smooth the thing runs. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on Betaflight a little bit later to try and quantify how smooth it is by looking at the gyro and accelerometer data. And that's something that you can compare with, you know, everybody else. This thing, they're, they're so smooth. Your HD footage is going to look great. I'm really pretty excited about that. Um, so the uh, wires that come with it, standard, they're about four millimeters. Or I'm sorry, four inches in length. Uh, real nice, high quality silicone wires. You're not dealing with that stiff stuff that you know like used to come on sunny skies back in the day um really thick gauge windings i will um i'll move over now to a still of the windings i'm super impressed with how clean they are they're just you know there's no crisscrossing just perfect craftsmanship and you you could tell that when you spin these things up too because of how smooth they are um, back to the motor, if you look at it, they etched their logo and stuff into the bell. So it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going to have a sticker on it. It's going to throw off the weight or anything like that. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the cost. I think they're going to be around the $25 mark. Um, but in any case, it's worth it for such a high quality motor. And also if you look at the underside of the motor, you'll see how they're separately supported. The wires are, uh, underneath of it. So uh, that's pretty nice. So what I'll do is I'll move over to Betaflight and we'll take a look at how smooth these things run. Okay, so we're connected to a 4S battery. Uh, I don't have props on. And I'm also hooked up to Betaflight Configurator. For those of you who don't know, Betaflight and also uh, CleanFlight as well. When you go to the Motor tab, you can get into 
this area where you normally calibrate your motors and, and you know test them test them fire them up but here at the corner is interesting bit of you know data you can see the uh, accelerometer data which measures you know the vibration so you can see right now it's just kind of hovering there at, at zero but if I take the quad and physically move around you can see that uh, jumping up to the corresponding accelerometer readings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this and uh, we'll, we'll just grab one of the motors uh, motor 3 and we'll spin it up you can see it spinning there and we'll look at that accelerometer data as I go through the range guys this is like 0, 0.00 that's insane. A little bit of vibration on the x-axis. It's drastically changed the RPMs. Okay. That, that really is really smooth. Let me drop that again. Good look at our data there. Let me re reset it. I'll fire them all up. We'll look at the uh, whole quad's accelerometer reading. So everything, I'm sorry, everything's spinning up. We are now looking at the data reading there. 0 0.01. I mean, you can see how smooth it is. I'm running the Cicada ESCs, and uh, those those also help you know motors to run nice and smooth. Um, like we can knock it down to super slow RPMs here. Here's the end of it. Nothing's moving over there on the accelerometer, so really impressed with the smoothness, and that's going to translate into a better flight characteristics, you know, less uh, vibration on your flight controller, and again, uh, cleaner video. So summing up, guys, Brother Hobby Tornado T1 Tornado Motor 2205 2300 kV, a very powerful motor, super smooth and pretty lightweight. It sounds like a winner in my book, and you know. It's just really got a unique look, so you could have something different at the field. I, I like the finish on there. I got some titanium bolts on my uh, on my armadillo quad here too. So, you know, good good uh, presentation as well. Um, you could tell the quality when you look at the windings on the inside. So, definitely worth checking out. That's another good option out there. There's starting to be a lot of motor options out there, but. Um, these guys have found a way to stand out. So I'm going to have some flight footage uh, soon. Um, I know these guys are little screamers, but I'm going to try and capture some of that on some flight footage. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.